Hello, this is Jennifer Malloy, Senior Editor of Institutional Real Estate Asia Pacific at IREI. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the features in the December 2021 issue. They touch on investment risk, which is always on the radar of institutional investors, as well as investing in the multifamily and logistics sectors and consumer shopping behavior. First, we have the issue's lead feature, risk on or risk off. With the second pandemic blighted year at its end, how have property investors weathered 2021 and where do they stand on taking investment risk in 2022? So some of the things this feature looks at are how Asia-based investors are under allocated to real estate compared to their targets, some of the ways that they're working on generating alpha in the tight pricing environment, and the additional importance of having local teams given that there are so many jurisdictions in Asia we also have the Issues Market Perspective article called Right for Investment, a look at Japan's multifamily sector and how AI can support investors by Dr. Madi Mokrain and Dr. Marcello Caillas with Patricia. With AI, the authors talk about how it can help paint a picture for investors of particular neighborhoods that they may want to consider for investment, not just in terms of proximity to public transportation and schools, but also with how much people in the area value things like local coffee shops and restaurants. We also have a feature titled Riding the Wave, How Investors Can Make a Splash in China's Logistic Market by Seng Hong Teng of DWS. One of the things the author mentions is that while improving, China's logistics sector still lacks maturity and has limited institutional involvement from investors given the limited availability of institutional grade stock. So it'll be interesting to see how this sector develops in the coming years. And finally, we have a feature titled Sticky Habits, How to Understand Retail Shopping Behavior in Australia by Dinesh Palutla at Core Property Research. It takes a look at what types of goods consumers in Australia have decided to continue buying online even when no longer forced to because of lockdowns. That's some of what you can expect in the December 2020 one issue of Institutional Real Estate Asia Pacific. I hope you'll check it out. For the January 2022 issue, we'll have a global feature on real estate debt investing, as well as an editor's roundtable with my colleagues Loretta Claudfelter and Merrick Hansel, where we talk about the major issues discussed by institutional investors at our recent editorial advisory board meetings for IREI's Americas, Europe, and Asia Pacific publications. If you're interested in potentially contributing a feature to the publication, please contact me at j.malloy at irei.com. And if you would like to be an interviewee for a feature, please visit our editorial calendars page at the link on your screen. Thank you and happy holidays.